What's up guys, it's Alex with Tailwater Fly Shop. Got another one material fly for you today. It's the White Trash Fancy. All right, so first thing is the hook. This is the Umqua series. This is the flats, size two. You can take this up to a 1.0, or if you're tying this fly for tarpon, you can go up to something a little bit beefier, like the Umqua tarpon hook. Uh, or I really like this on a Gamagatsu SL12S short as well. But uh, this is one material. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start our thread. I'm using a pink thread. Mostly because that's what's on the bobbin. And I really don't think that thread color matters. But I do like having a little bit of a bright head on it. Just because I think that that helps me see it in the water. I don't know, but I, I, make, I have myself convinced of that. And uh, with this fly, we are going to be using the uh, Umqua Craft Fur Brush. This is the three incher in sand and brown. As you can see, Craft Fur has a little bit of uh, EP flash in it as well, and like a, almost like a fluorescent blue looking color. And so this material is going to be everything, okay? I'm not going to just wrap this material and then brush it back and call it a bait fish, okay? That uh, creates, if I did that, I would name this fly the Fouling Nightmare because that just creates a fly that fouls so bad. And, um, you know, you get one good swim out of it and then it fouls really bad. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the core. So this brush, you can see there's a wire core, okay? And I'm going to hold on to the, to the wire and I'm gonna brush back some of this craft fur, okay? Brush it back, brush it back, brush it back. What this is gonna do is give me a nice tapered look, but I'm actually going to leave a little bit of the wire in there uh, and tie that off the back of the hook. And what that's going to do is that's gonna give me just a little bit of like stiffness, uh, a little bit of rigidity, right? Rigidity, spell rigidity, uh, rigidity. And that's going to keep this from fouling so easy. And I just think that it adds, um, I think that it adds just a really nice look. So this is a really slim profiled bait fish fly. It's not made to be huge. Uh, and you can basically change the size of this by how thick of a tail that you tie in and by how close that you put the wraps on in this next step. But I'm gonna trim that, not with my scissors, but with my little wire cutters all right so there's the tail like I said pretty sparse okay but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie in my next material which is the same same material uh, is the crafter brush I'm just gonna use it a little bit differently I'm actually gonna wrap and, and, and palmer it so I'm gonna peel a little bit of it out let's give myself a little bit of the bare core just to make sure it stays in I'm gonna wrap that forward <clears throat> then I'm going to take this wire and bend it back and wrap back, double it over. Just so it stays in there nice. Clean it up. Give myself a nice clean point to wrap to. This fly is really nice for current because it's not very dense, so it sinks pretty quick. Uh, it's really good for little baby tarpon. It's really good for snook. It's really good for redfish. You can tie this fly in all white, and it makes a great, great beach snook fly. Holy smokes, it makes a great beach snook fly. But uh, that would be with the white. So now I'm just going to, same material, two different applications. Now I'm going to wrap the material all the way back, and then I'm going to palmer it. So trying to keep those fibers from getting trapped as much as I can. But like I said, this is supposed to be a pretty slim fly when it's all said and done. So I'm spacing my wraps out quite a bit. Moving the vise, ruining the shot. Hope it's back. And don't worry, if you trap a few fibers, <coughs> you can always uh, pick them out later. So I'm not gonna wrap all the way up to the point of the hook, no need, but I am going to try and separate these fibers as much as I can. Tie it off, one, two behind, couple in front, wire snips, cut it flush, 
try and put down that little, but I'm going to wrap back over this just a little bit. I like to put a little bit of a thread head on it. I think it cleans it up nice. You could put eyes on this if you want. No need to though, in my opinion. This nice little thread head. Did I say this was a great beach nook fly if you tied it in all white? Or this color, is like it's a great beach nook fly. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this loon uh, comb and I'm going to comb out this craft fur. So as you can see, it's starting to blend really nice, but this little wire that I left in the tail keeps the tail from just becoming an absolute fouling nightmare. And it lets the body and head of the fly kind of just reflow and not have to look like the tail because I have a tail tied in. So uh, I'm going to sweep this all back. Gosh, what a great bait fish profile. I mean, this would get eaten anywhere. Bass, snook, redfish, tarpon, trout. You could wrap lead wire on the shank of the hook if you wanted to to make this thing heavier. You could put eyes on this if you wanted to to make this... Um, you know, fly a little bit different. You can do whatever you'd like. So, I'm gonna take my old trusty super glue. I'm going to coat my thread wraps nicely. I'm gonna wait until the super glue dries to hit these little fibers with a lighter because I don't want to light the entire fly on fire. Done it. Um, work really hard on a deer hair bug, then you go to burn the little deer hair out of the eye of the hook, and it poof, it goes up in flames. And there goes three hours of work. So. Uh, but here's a one material bait fish and this uh, fly again great all-around pattern you can have a bunch of different options that you can tie it in uh, just because the craft fur brush comes in a bunch of different colors this fly looks really nice uh, in basically all the colors that they that they have uh, or you can make your own uh, brushes out of craft fur uh, and you can use those as well so this is the white trash fancy it's another one material fly all right, guys, so if you like the fly, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, what are some other flies you'd like me to try and tie with uh, one material? Or what is a material that you'd like for me to try and tie a fly with, just that material? And, uh, you know, we'll see what we can do as we, uh, as we keep trying to tie flies for people that don't like to spend hours and